Garrett, you there? Yes, sir. Hey, buddy, how you been? I've been great. How about yourself? Well, not too bad. How's the pandemic treating you? <laughs> Could be a whole lot worse. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I put up a little picture of you on uh, my Christopher Rood website, also or, or Facebook page, and the WJBB Facebook page as well. That's a good-looking picture. Is that is that the cover with your name and just that single shot of you? Yep. Yeah, that was the one. That's a good-looking picture. Now you called the new record Garrett Wheeler. What, what, was there a debate to maybe come up with a name, or how, how did you derive just going with the Garrett Wheeler? I'd gone back and forth with it, and um, originally I was going to call the record Now That You're Gone after one of the tracks on there, but with this being the first record and all, most of the bands that uh, inspired me at first, they... Um, for the most part, opened up with self-titled records. That's, so I was like, well, yeah, I might makes, as well try and fit in with them. That makes sense. How many songs on the record? Eight songs. Eight songs. Uh, I was reading some uh, from the bio, recorded and produced by Donny Hammonds at the After, mm -hmm. Dark, After Dark Studios in uh, Cartersville. Uh, Jana Jennings, uh, banjo picker Preston Smith. Now, Preston was with you in the studio when you came in the last time, right? Yeah, he was. Bearded fella. He's not with he what? Pardon? what? What happened to him? Oh, no. He's doing great. He's not with me this morning, oh, okay. but um, I have a record release show going on in Kennesaw tonight, and he'll be playing with me at that. Okay, tell us about that. What, what's going to be happening tonight? All right, so tonight in Kennesaw, I'm doing a uh, record release show at Buzzy's Grill mm -hmm. with, you know, all the uh, regulations and stuff with the virus. They have an awesome outdoor stage, so that way people can more consciously keep a little more distance and not be cramped in a tight space. Right. But, yeah, we'll be playing there. The show starts at 7. I'm actually doing a, a pre-show cover set from 7 to 7.45. And then my good friend and another super awesome local musician, Clayton Wyatt, is opening up the show. Mm -hmm. And then me and my band will be playing after him, and it's looking like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Okay, how, how big is the band? How many pieces? We're just playing as a three-piece tonight. It'll okay. be me, uh, Celeste Milam on drums, and then Preston Smith on banjo and backing vocals. Now, when you get up and perform, do you have to do it through a mask? <laughs> Thankfully, no. Does does the uh, guitar have to have a a big old covering on it like a instrument condom? No, but you got to oh, wipe oh, it that down. That would be hilarious. You got to wipe that sucker down <laughs> first. I just when we were rehearsing earlier this week, I told Preston and Celeste that they were going to have to wear gloves. <laughs> they weren't too happy about that. You know, I played. They a were gig. glad when they found out I was just kidding. I played an outdoor gig once. This was years ago. Three dollar cafe in Buckhead. It was outdoors, and it was. There you go. It was supposed to be a nice day, and it turned oh. out to be freezing. Oh. You ever tried to play outdoors when your fingers are frozen? Oh no. I've done a couple of those. They're not fun. They're not fun. Your hands don't work like they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. you know, you're I'm to not play. a great guitar player as is. <laughs> I don't need my hands locking up, too. And I had a guitar synthesizer, and this darn thing was malfunctioning oh, because yeah. of the cold weather. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. It was going, <laughs> darn thing was going haywire. All right, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about the record. Eight songs. Uh, from what I gather, reading the bio, pretty diverse. Yeah, so... Um, you know, this record, part of the reason why it shifts genres a little bit, or not so much shifts, but, you know, it kind of goes to either end of the extremes. Like, you get a few tracks that are almost just me and guitar and then maybe a little bit of piano. Mm -hmm. And then there are also, you know, pretty big band rocking and rolling and loud tracks on there, too. Um, part of that just deals with, you know, I really wanted to make the music song by song instead of worrying about like you know what would sound best just all on a record played back to back yeah so i went through and recorded everything song by song first and then went back and sort of you know when putting more lead instruments on top made it a little more cohesive so it goes together but i was pretty happy with how it came out the record has two sides even though you know most people aren't listening on cassette 
and vinyls. <laughs> right. But the first side of the record features most the loud and rock and rolling tracks. Well, the uh, second side has a lot of the uh, uh, more of the acoustic tracks. Okay. And there's a divider track on the record in the middle, and the way it comes together, if you listen to it front to back, it's got a really cool sort of vibe to it, I, I guess. I, I, see, I like that, because I'm old school. Back in the day, you get yourself a record, an mm -hmm. album, mm -hmm. you look forward to you know, ripping the shrink wrap off of it. Yeah. You get that smell mm -hmm. of the new album and the new vinyl. You drop the stylus, the needle down on the first track on side one. You let it play through. You flipped it over, and you listen to the second side, and you just kept doing that all afternoon and all night until you completely yeah. consumed that record. Those were great old days, man. Hey, let me ask mm -hmm. you, lyrically, uh, we're talking to Garrett Wheeler, a uh, new self-titled record, Garrett Wheeler, and we'll uh, explain where you can pick it up or where you can listen to it in just a couple of minutes. But uh, lyrically, anything in the record about what we've experienced over the last few months? Not so much, no, because this record, most of the songs, well, pretty much all the songs off of it, I'd written in a period in late 2018 or the first month or two of 2019. Okay. So these are actually all pretty old songs that I sat on for a while before I released them. But they're all magically fresh now on a brand new record, Garrett Wheeler. For folks who want to pick this up or give it a listen, how can they do that? So the album is available at pretty much every online music retailer that you can find, like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google. Uh, it's even on TikTok, as far as I know. Uh oh And then I also have physical CDs for sale on my website, GarrettWheelerMusic.com. Or if you come out to the release show tonight or any other show in the future, I'll have them with me so you can purchase them in person, too. Cool. Now, on the CD, do you get liner notes and other pictures to look at? I used to like that with records, where you got stuff to look at as you're listening to the music. Uh, with this CD, I uh, couldn't put liner notes, but... It does come with a couple stickers. Oh, you so got that's oh, okay. about the best I could do for that's this one. one. Hey, no stickers, cool man. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Hard to get a poster into a CD. You know how difficult right. that can be. <laughs> All right, Garrett. Well, buddy, the next time uh, the pandemic's over, we want to get you back into the studio. Oh, uh, me and Preston would love to. You know, I was thinking about that title, that uh, Garrett Wheeler, because I was working on a record too. Uh, no songs, just the packaging. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna call mine after the pandemic. Don't you like? There you go. I'm surprised people aren't writing about kind of what's going on. You know, after the pandemic, songs of hope, and I got a couple of working <laughs> song titles for you, and you can steal these if you need them. Uh, Peppermint, patchouli, my pandemic princess. It's a song about <laughs> a, a, a fictitious woman that you ended up sheltering at home with, oh. that you met at a bus stop. Okay. That's Ooh. the inspiration behind the song. And then I got one, I called, one called Shelter at Home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kind of a Bob Dylan sort of a song. Shelter at home. And then uh, this one. My Rona, <laughs> my Rona doesn't want to stay at home. <laughs> got kind of a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a rap. It's got kind of a rap feel. No, no, no. To no. It. It's got to be Keep Your Rona at Home. <laughs> keep Your Rona at a Home. <laughs> <laughs> and then Blake's going to beatbox on it. All right. That's awesome. Or hyperventilate. There you go. All right, uh, Garrett Wheeler, uh, tell me about the song we're going to play now. So the song that y'all are going to play now is a track called Now That You're Gone. Um, this version of it, the one that made the record, me and Preston cut acoustic and live on the studio floor in a few takes. And this song was really the first one off the record that really set the tone for everything and kind of kick-started all the rest of the songs that were on it, so... This song was really the jumping point for um, the new record emotionally and lyrically. And when I wrote this song, it felt like I really hit a new spot in my songwriting. This one is, if not my favorite on the record, one of them. All right, very good. Garrett, buddy, it's good talking to you again. Continued success. And tell everybody where they can see you again tonight. So tonight, like I said, the record release show is in Kennesaw, Georgia at Buzzy's Grill. The... Uh, show starts at seven but the main show starts at eight i have clayton wyatt opening up the show and then i'll be playing with my full band featuring celeste milam on drums and preston smith on banjo and backup vocals 
we'll hit the stage later in the night. But hopefully I can see some of y'all there. All right, awesome. Get out there and support local music. Garrett Wheeler, The Bleeding Ear, 107.1 WJBB, with Now That You're Gone. One, two, a one, two. Your perfume Running like poison through my veins Memories Won't stop driving me insane I don't want to give you up But you left me here alone Missing you so much But I guess you'll never know Dead flowers in your favorite color vase meant for you It just went through it all away Spring and summer nights And the sweaty summer days Took your box of matches And you set it up in flames Because you left just the Garrett Wheeler, Preston Smith, 107.1 WJBB. Here's your host, DeAndre Cole. Woke up this morning and-